Welcome back. Today we will be talking about a specific phenomenon of piano playing: the stretch of the finger or finger raising. Will over decades and even centuries debate on、um, should we yes or no use this finger stretch as much as possible to play the keyboard has existed, and it has never again agreed on to a common universal agreement. Will while it is a hard topic to put a definition and a conclusion once for all, we do have something that we should straight out. And we should clarify before we make a final decision. Or should we yes or no apply this technique? It is common practice and widely used upon piano beginners and intermediate level of students, even high level professional students, that we use the stretch of our fingers, but we do not rely on it. And over time. In the modern society, there is a voice said, "Piano finger stretching or raising your finger is no longer needed because it is less effective and it will reduce the speed of your playing." While that sounds logically right or correct in the first place, I must have said that is not partially true, or it's not entirely true. First of all. We put our fingers on the keyboard, and yes, logically speaking, if we do not raise or stretch our finger into the air, but instead keep it down in touch with the keyboard and the surface, we move faster and we play faster by shortening the road, the trip between the air. To the keyboard, the first surface, and to the hammer striking point. That is, logically speaking, it is true. But there are some cases that placing your fingers on the surface of the keyboard isn't enough to create a more crystal clear, detached, non-legato sound. If you When your music requires of doing so, in that case, you must have find a way either to sacrifice the speed of your move of your current playing by lower or raising your fingers up high. You must sacrifice the space or the speed. Well, that is something I guess you don't want to do, right? So the other solution come across. That is, you can still raise your fingers up in the air, but instead you strike the keyboard even faster, not harder but faster, and that can compensate the loss of the speed of the velocity when your finger is traveling more road or more trip in the air. So that can give you something like this. We can either get the maximum speed by lowering my fingers. We can move even faster with velocity, and raise my fingers up in the air as much as I can, but still maintain the same speed. Take this. See how the sound is much more maximized and mighty, and it is crystal clear. But it does not, it does not reflect the. The collection of you're going slower because your fingers are traveling more distance. So I'm glad that we have this one mystery solved. It is kind of difficult to explain it into certain hearts because people were so common. People were binded with the ideology that if you move, if you move further distance. You play slower. Well, that is not the、uh, best attitude to maximize your potential and to and to really dig into how much you can play on the keyboard. That's about it. Thank you very much. Please stay and follow and share your comments. I look forward to see you again.